Hi, welcome to the OU Writing Center's Part of Speech series. In this video, we'll focus on pronouns. Let's define what pronouns are, identify a few types of pronouns, and also go over some examples. Let's get started. Pronouns are words that can take the place of nouns. They can also give us information about the noun they're replacing, things like whether the noun is first person, second person, or third person, whether it's singular or plural, and its perceived gender. There are a few different types of pronouns. Personal pronouns refer to people. The first type of personal pronoun is a nominative pronoun, though they can also be called subjective since they identify subjects of a sentence. Two different names, same pronoun. I, you, they, and we are all nominative or subjective pronouns. In our example sentence, we both love coffee, we shows who exactly loves coffee. Objective pronouns identify the object of a sentence, the person receiving the action of the sentence's verb. Me, us, her, him, and them are all objective pronouns. Our example sentence here, to be kind, we should give coffee to them. The pronoun them identifies a group of people who are receiving the coffee. Reflexive or intensive pronouns refer back to a noun that's come earlier in the sentence. These are created by adding self or selves to the end of the objective pronouns my, your, are, her, him, it, or them. Reflexive pronouns are used to clarify meaning, as in, he found himself jittery after drinking three cups of coffee. Himself clarifies who he found jittery. Intensive pronouns are optional add-ins used for emphasis. Our second example explains that Dr. Reyes herself emailed us to say class was canceled. In this instance, herself is used to emphasize the fact that Dr. Reyes did the action of emailing. Another type of personal pronoun is a possessive pronoun. Like the name suggests, these show possession of something. In our example sentence, that coupon for free coffee is mine. Mine shows to whom the coupon belongs. My mine, your yours, our ours, his her its, and their theirs are all possessive pronouns. Impersonal pronouns are a last major category of pronoun. Since these don't refer to people, they don't tell us about person status, singularity, plurality, or gender. Instead, indefinite pronouns identify nouns that aren't named specifically. These pronouns most often start with some, every, any, or no. In our example, Dr. Rikens thinks someone should make coffee. Dr. Rikens hasn't specified a particular person. She just wants the coffee made. Someone, everybody, anything, and no one are all indefinite pronouns. Pronouns that tell us about number or amount also fall into this category. Cardinal numbers, as well as words both, many, each, and none are all examples. Reciprocal pronouns show a relationship of exchange between people or things. Each other and one another are examples of reciprocal pronouns. In our example sentence, we stared at each other in shock when we realized there was no coffee. Each other shows the glance is exchanged between the people present. The subject in this case is we. Another type of impersonal pronoun is an interrogative pronoun. You'll find interrogative pronouns like who, whom, what, and whose in sentences that ask a question. As seen in our example sentence, who wants coffee, who begins the question to identify people wanting coffee. Finally, Demonstrative pronouns identify a specific noun and include this, that, these, and those. As we see in our example sentence, this cup has tea in it, not coffee. This indicates a specific cup being discussed. Alright, let's sum up what we've covered with pronouns with some too long didn't read takeaways. First, pronouns take the place of noun in a sentence. Pronouns can also either be personal or impersonal. Personal pronouns include nominative, subjective, objective, reflexive, intensive, and possessive pronouns. Impersonal pronouns include indefinite, reciprocal, and interrogative pronouns. If you'd like to learn more about writing and communicating effectively, or want to know more about the services we offer OU writers and Norman community members, you can contact us by email at writingcenter@ou.edu or by phone at 405-325-2936. Find us online by going to write.ou.edu or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at OUWrites. Have a good day and write on. Let's give credit where it's due. This presentation was created by Mandy M. McRae, Graduate Assistant Director and Graduate Writing Consultant at the University of Oklahoma's Writing Center, created in 2022 under the Creative Commons license type BYNCSA. 
This license allows reusers to distribute, remix, adapt, and build upon the material in any medium format for non-commercial purposes only, and only so long as attribution is given to the creator. If you remix, adapt, or build upon the material, you must license the modified material under identical terms. This presentation was narrated by Christian Smith.